Hi everyone, how are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is going to be an RD with B, a real quick RD with B. Wanted to give you something um, before I get caught up and involved with all of the big kahuna readings and the double monthly readings for my members. Gemini, I just recorded your big kahuna birthday readings for June and July. And uh, those will be up late tonight, probably, or early tomorrow. And then Cancer is your next. Cancers, I'll get your uh, double monthly up tomorrow as well with your big kahuna. And then uh, Cancers and Leos will probably be up tomorrow as well. Maybe even all the way to Virgo. We will see. I'm going to try to get two readings done a day. So you will have them before June 1st hits. But Gemini, pretty interesting. Can't wait to upload it for you. What a change. Woo! All right, let's get this RD with B going. This is going to be for about the next three to five days as always. So it's the 25th today. So this could be 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, right around there. Energy is pretty fluid. So let's see what we get. These are about 15, 20 minute readings. They're just little quickies. So let's see what we got, my beautiful viewers. All right, let's pray over the deck. Okay. Here's the first card. Here's the second card. I am being told to do four cards and do clarifiers where there need to be clarifiers. Okay, here's the RD with B. Let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. I was going to say it. I swear. Okay, I should have said it. You see, here he comes. Here's Ezra. He's right here. You see him? Queen of Wands. I kid you not. So he was already picking up the fire signs getting pulled. Because remember what I said? Like every time he feels fire signs, he gets active. So anyway... That's neither here nor there. He just loves his fire signs. So um, this is a fire sign, Aries, Sag, or Leo person, or a third decan Pisces. They're looking forward to the future. Uh, they want to move on something. They want to look forward. They want to get it going. They want to see what the future has to hold. They are using their intuition in this situation as well. They're a go-getter. They're going to make it happen. They are very good at creating things. They're very good at transformative, um, being transformative, not only in their lives, but in others' lives as well for the better. Okay, so that's what we got coming in here with the Queen of Wands. What do we have with the next card? The Knight of Swords. It looks like a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person is going to be meeting up with the Queen of Wands. So it looks like there is a message coming in from the future for the Queen of Wands. So she's looking this way. It's almost as though, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but like in, like the old, like, let's just say the Westerns, okay? Like the, the country Western movies where you got some guy, he's on the porch, you know, he's chewing on a piece of wheat or something like that or a stick or he's like, you know, whittling something or carving something. And he looks up and there's this big cloud of dust because someone is driving up to the ranch or someone is riding into the ranch. This is that energy. So what I see here is I see that someone who's very put together, who's well read, who, who takes action, but who also knows kind of how to relax and is aware enough of their surroundings to assess and analyze what's coming towards them, the message, the truth, the, uh, the activity of 
getting the message or getting the truth to the Queen of Wands, to the Aries, Sag, Leo, or third decan Pisces, here it comes. Someone is coming in and saying, I've got a message for you. I've got something you need to know. I've got something you need to hear. Okay? And it could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra person. It's coming in very quickly. Um, it's coming in with clarity. It's coming in very concisely. It's, it's saying, this is the truth. Excuse me. This is the truth of the situation. That's what I see here. What is the next card? Ace of Cups. It could be a message of love. There is, um, for some of you out there, you're working with somebody at work, whether, whether they're your colleague or they're a contractor or a consultant or just somebody who helps. They're very good. And you guys have a great rapport. There's, there's something about someone is meeting somebody with, a, with intelligence, a match to their intelligence. Someone wants to be in an environment where their intelligence is matched. You know, someone here might not, may have felt as though they were not being challenged, but now it's like they've met their match. They've met their intellectual match. They've met, they've met their passionate match. They've met that, that one that's going to create that movement through action. And might be related to, to love. It might be related to a gift, an offer, an emotional offer. Um, it might make somebody so happy they may cry. Ezra, what are you doing? Do you come over here? Come over here. Come here. Should we say hi to everyone? Come here. Should we say hi? Should we say hi? Do we see? Say hi. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Can they see you? Come over here. Come here. Come here. Over here. Come here. Okay, you're good. We'll leave you there. We'll leave you there. They can kind of see you. Yeah. They can kind of see you. Yes. Okay. So, um, this could be where someone is so happy regarding a situation that they cry because they're so happy. They cry because something worked. They cry because, oh my gosh, it's like finally the breakthrough is happening. This is gorgeous energy, by the way. I love this. Peace. Someone feels great peace with someone else. They do. Because not only are they exhibiting creativity, fervor, passion and creating that transformation they're doing so through intelligence through action through words through documentation it's really beautiful what's the last card temperance yeah somebody just tucked uh, stuck their toe in the water they tried it out they're like i'm gonna try this out this is what i'm gonna do let's let's try this let's try this let's try that this is like um you know Kind of know what they say, like put a bunch of ideas up on the wall and see which one sticks. But this is healing. This is travel. This is patience. This is mixing and matching. This is creating a new path to go down. This is, this is the path to clarity, to the sun, to life force energy, to understanding that there's more to the story. There's more to the situation. You're not just here to waste your time. You're an integral piece to the puzzle. Okay. We'll quickly pull some clarifiers that may be another reading and then I'm going to go. I think uh, Ezra is going to want to go outside pretty soon. Ezra, come here. Come here. Where are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? You're being good. You're being patient. You're being patient. Oh. Could you tell that the fire signs were in this reading? Hmm? 
do you love the water signs and the earth signs and the air signs too? No? Okay. <laughs> yes, he does. All right. Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Ezra, you stay here. This is why the Queen of Wands is here. This is why the Knight of Swords is here. This is why the Ace of Cups is here. And this is why Temperance is here. Let's take a look. Queen of Wands is here because Temperance, unbelievable. This has been happening a lot in my readings lately. Patience, curiosity, synthesis, healing. Creating the path to clarity. Awareness. It's beautiful. That's why the Queen of Wands is here. She has arrived because someone said, let's just try this. Let's get clarity. Let's move forward. Let's create this path. Let's heal the situation. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Three of Cups. What did I say? This has something to do with like somebody at work, somebody in a family, whatever it is, but somebody really truly gets along. It's like they're equal. They get along. They, they would be friends if one didn't live in another state and they didn't just meet each other, okay? Maybe they will end up being friends. Who knows? But these are, this is a message from the group. This is a message from, you know, the women, this is a message from the whatever conclusion, whatever solace, whatever healing's coming through. There is a message coming through three women that is very clear, very concise. It is being sent to this Aries, Sag, Leo, third decan, Pisces, and it's creating this, this healing energy. It's creating this love. It's creating this joy. It's creating this celebration. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles. Because you know what? Somebody values themselves. Somebody values others. Someone really put some hard work into some things. Somebody invested. Someone said, let's get this figured out. Someone says, this is what I offer. This is what I, this is what I value. This is a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Who's offering of themselves, is offering money, is offering a chance is offering their their intelligence, their expertise, whatever one would consider their loyalty. There could be a dog coming up, not surprising. But there it is. Paying for a dog, paying good money for a dog, maybe a pure breed, purebred. But this is causing joy, this is causing happiness, this is causing you know, a feeling of love and companionship and kindness. Peace. A lot of peace. Why is the temperance here? I will freak if it's the queen of wands. <laughs> Why is the temperance here? Ah, the shadow side. Look at that. The shadow side. The reason... Why someone dipped their toe in the water. The reason why someone said, let's create clarity. Let's give this, let's find a new path. Let's, uh, let's try this. Let's create synthesis. Let's use, use our mind, use our intelligence. Let's approach this from a different perspective. Let's heal the situation. The reason why this is here is because someone was scared crapless that something was going to go down or something was going to be lost. Great fear. Of the end. You know, this is where you bring in the closer, right? Somebody's bringing in the closer. That's what this is. Okay? All right. That's what I got for my RD with B. I hope you guys liked it. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.